Alrighty, it's uh, New Year's Day, 2012, January 1. So I thought I'd uh, give you a little video tour of my uh, new toy here. This is a slight departure from what you usually see on my videos, but uh, no solar cooking today, no trains. This would be your, from 1974, a new idea, EGT 200 electric tractor. Yes, wasn't a converted model, this was actually built originally uh, GE built these from I think I'm gonna stick my neck out and say later 60s into the 70s and uh, they turned over a certain portion of the business to New Idea which is a farm implement dealer um, and they actually built these and this is roughly uh, the equivalent of a GE Electrac E20 so the EGT 200 is roughly equivalent to an Electrac E20 now, as you can see, um, these are the original colors. It's kind of a cream white uh, for the uh, where the seat sits and the hood and the, the tractor frame and body panels are all this kind of an orange color, which they now reproduce. Um, it's a manual transmission. Not a, this is not a hydrostatic drive. It's a, it's an actual manual transmission. Uh, this is the speed controller. Ah. Here's some of the electrics all buried under the dash here. Oh, I should give you a look at the dash. And yeah, see if I can turn the wheel a bit. So you have a battery meter, power usage meter, um, an array of switches. If you can get a good look at that or not. And there's a key switch. There's a little gear. What does that say? Shift to lower gear when power meter indicates in red. There you go. Um, Anyway, we're going to try to get this critter running. Oh, we should open the hood here and show you underneath. Ah. And inside the hood we have one of the original labels. Actually still in a pretty good condition. And there's a little rust in the bottom, but there's no holes. Uh, not that it shouldn't be there. And as you can see, the wiring is uh, fairly intact. Uh, oh, and of course this is the charger. There's a kind of a timer unit on here. You can see it. And this is the toaster field resistor unit. And oh, that's the plate that covers up, the, and that's the rest of the charger a big transformer down there, uh, a couple of rectifiers, and a big capacitor right there. And it works. I checked it out, and I got a couple of other little bits and pieces. Close this up. Oh, the dry belts. You can still get those. It's uh, underneath. I'll show you that later. An extra resistor pack toaster, and this is the bracket that goes on the front for the front lift. And it kind of bolts on like that. And apparently, that's used for things like a blade, dozer blade, and if you had a front mower, which these came with, you could use that. Anyway, stay tuned and we'll uh, continue the tour. And the tour continues. Okay, I just uh, these are the, uh, they just kind of sit on top, they're plastic. Uh, they just sit on top of the battery packs. This is for the rear, uh, back here, because there would be four batteries. One, two, three, four. And this critter here would just sit right on top of them, which would allow you to uh, put water in them through the holes, but would uh, kind of keep everything underneath the, the plastic for uh, purposes, I guess, of protection. Um, battery cables. That is probably missing one chunk. Anyway, um, there would be battery cables between the batteries, obviously. Uh, seat switch, so that you have to be sitting on the seat. This has uh, similar interlocks that uh, a normal garden tractor would have. Uh, but, you know, be able to actually have to be sitting on the tractor and have the thing turned on, etc., in order to make it move. Um, the electric motor is actually physically right beneath here. Um, it's about a 16 horsepower motor. It's a 36 volt system. Um, and I guess there's not much more to it than that. Other than, uh, as I say, I think I'm missing parts. I was trying to maybe get this going this weekend, but I'm missing two solenoids. Uh, when I looked in here, this, uh, I'm just going to set that down if I can. That solenoid right there, um, there's a similar one missing. It should be here. You can see my finger there or not. Um, 
should be right in there and another one just over under here you can see it there that's missing anyway it should be there uh, forward and reverse solenoid so without those this thing isn't going to move uh, so these wires here are for the various bits luckily everything is tagged and here's another neat piece I have the, the full wiring diagram part of my mess yeah in very large form and as you can see it's uh, maybe you can't see it's not very good light anyway everything is broken down all the wiring is numbered looks a bit cluttered anyway there's the solenoids I'm missing the forward and the reverse that's the PTO I have that one yes has a part takeoff um, that's the other thing I should mention I guess ah, is that oh, focus there we go okay um, underneath here underneath the lip you can't see it but underneath here there's an outlet big right there and another accessory outlet right here I know you probably can't see it either anyway these are uh, outputs for the uh, implements that would also be electric powered and would allow you to run things like chainsaws and arc welders and all kinds of neat things the camera's not focusing very well there we go doesn't like the low light anyway so that's the end of the tour for now I'm gonna post this on YouTube and uh, any questions let me know we'll uh, post extra videos as they come along and hopefully I'll be able to get this critter running soon stay tuned <laughs>